Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So spring is finally among us. We're going to be able to wash the vehicle both inside and out to remove all the winter grime, the road salts, the accumulated dirt, so on and so forth. I have a full ultimate spring cleaning tutorial for the exterior on my channel. I'll leave that video linked in the description under this video. But today we're gonna to focus on an element that many of you guys have asked me, and that is how do you clean the door jams and door sills. So of course, this being a detailing channel, I'm gonna show you how simple this is, the simple tools, equipment, uh, and the products that you need to do a good job. It is very easy. And of course, we're going to remove all this grime that you see here that accumulates over time. And of course, the door jams, the uh, door sills, and of course, the same applies to the trunk area as well, the trunk jams and the trunk sills. So let's start by having a look at the products and tools that we're gonna need. And by the way, I'll leave all the links to the products, equipment, tools in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So first order of business, we are going to be using an all-purpose cleaner, in this case, Koshemi Green Star. This has an alkaline pH of 12 and a half. And for exterior use, you can dilute it one to five, up to one to 30. So what I did, I took this uh, CarPro dilute bottle, very easy because of the markings here in the back to pick your dilute. Dilution. And what I did is a one to five dilution. So one part of product to five parts of water. So it's going to be uh, decently strong enough to cut down the uh, grime and dirt that's going to be uh, on the door sills, door shuts, however you want to call them, door jams. We're going to use a soft detailing brush from the detail factory. So there are short and longer versions. This is the long version. Uh, many colors available, by the way, if you look at my drawer here. So the long handles, the short handles, many different colors available. And again, these will not scratch the, uh, the surface, so super gentle. If you see that you have a lot of tar deposits or heavier grease that's gunked up, uh, you can use a tar remover like Gion Tar. You would uh, rinse the, uh, the door jams or door sills, spray a little bit of this, let that dwell a few minutes, always follow the instructions. They say here, wait three to five minutes. Don't use indirect sunlight and then rinse again. And then you can follow up with the steps as I'll show you. And at the end, something cool, we are going to protect the, uh, the surfaces with one of two products. So this one here, a spray and rinse, Gion Wet Coat, a lot of companies make them now. Uh, McKees 37, uh, Graphene Wet Coat, you get Car Pro Hydro 2, so on and so forth. This is a spray-on rinse-off sealant, or you can use your favorite quick detail spray like this uh, Gion Ceramic Detailer. Uh, basically, a few weeks to a few months of protection to make future cleanings much easier. So let's go ahead, and the first order of business is to use your pressure washer or garden hose, and yes, you're gonna be using water, and don't worry, even if a little bit splashes in the vehicle, uh, no worries, just be careful, focus on the areas, and there shouldn't be much water inside anyways, but uh, yeah, it's not the end of the world. So let's go ahead, we're gonna rinse all of this gunk up. As you can tell, all the door sills, door jams, door shuts, however you wanna call them, they're super dirty and grimy. So we're gonna remove the majority of this loose dirt and debris, and then we're going to do the cleaning phase. So let's start by the rinse. And as you can tell, the majority of the loose dirt and debris was knocked off. There's not much water that went beyond this door sill here. As you can see, like even the dirt on the floor mat is still pretty dry. So like I said, you can just mop up a little bit of the droplets that are there, but uh, no worries there. And for the rest, well, there's always these drainage holes so water can evacuate. Water is made to be evacuated in modern vehicles, right? So now that we rinsed, what we're gonna do is take our all-purpose cleaner slash degreaser. We're going to be very generous in the way we spray this. And we're gonna go to town using our brush to access all these parts here. Of course, get in the nooks and crannies. For those of you like me who also have a Tornador cleaning tool, you can put your cleaning solution inside your Tornador if you have an air compressor, and you can use that too. We're gonna to spray a little bit onto the tips of our brush, and we are going to start cleaning the surface. This is a super gentle brush. So 
so it won't scratch the surface. Make sure you're very diligent in the way you do this. Get into all the nooks and crannies. So again, this is not something that's gonna take you hours to do, guys. This is very, very quick. But the difference, again, is in the details. That's why we do these things. Because it's nice if you clean the exterior properly, and then you're gonna clean or detail the interior, but never forget about details like this. This is how you get a vehicle entirely clean. So get in there. Also, if you see these rubber gaskets, get those as well. Make sure you clean everything. There's a lot of dirt and grime that accumulates behind those over time. You see this nice foaming action from your all-purpose cleaner slash degreaser. And like I said, if you have uh, tar deposits or more caked on grime, perhaps from a rust proofing treatment that you have or things of that nature, and uh, you look at this part here, for example, and if you see darker spots or more grease, you can use a tar remover. So same paint and clear coat as was on your vehicle. That's what they also use in the door shuts. So you get these rubber grommets. Just go everywhere, go to town. Again, for the few minutes that you're gonna spend doing this, the reward is huge because you're gonna get spots that nobody else thinks of, right? So whether you're a professional detailer or a weekend warrior, an enthusiast. These are the kinds of details. Yeah, I can see that little brown and gunk that it's pulling up. I love that. It's so satisfying, guys. Let me know, by the way, if you have different methods that you guys like. It's always nice for us to share. So let's go over this quickly one last time. So you're gonna spend, what? If you're not talking like I am in filming, maybe a minute or two per door, four doors, a few minutes, and it's done. That's it. And look at the difference that it's gonna make. And we're also going to be protecting this at the end to make this cleanup even easier in the future, but also for dirt and grime to not accumulate as easily. So that's always one of the purposes. Let's bring this closer for the final part. So let's take our pressure washer. You can use a garden hose if you want and let's rinse this off. And that is it. And now for the awesome trick you're gonna take your quick detail spray. Well, you would first, if you wanna use just a detail spray, you can dry this off using a microfiber drying towel, but a quicker way, and something that's gonna last a little longer than a quick detailer is something like this. Spray on, rinse off sealant with SiO2 technology. This is Gion Wet Coat. So shake your product well, open the sprayer, you spray this on, you rinse off, and that is it. You boosted the hydrophobic properties and the self-cleaning. Get all over there, spray some in there. There you go. And we are going to immediately rinse off. <laughs> and there you go. Look at all this beautiful water beading that we're seeing. Those are the hydrophobic properties. Look at here, hopefully you can see well on camera. We got water beading everywhere. The water sheets off. It's gonna give it a bit of that gloss and slickness as well. And for drying, you would just use your microfiber drying towel, or in this case, you can use a blower like this small and compact Metrovac Air Force Blaster Sidekick. Uh, it blows hot, filtered, warm air, has a filter in the bottom. So we'll turn that on and you're gonna dry it up and we're gonna have a look at the end results.
And there you have it, folks. It's as easy as that. And then you can just mop up quickly whatever little water might have oversprayed. But I like to start with the exterior first and then do the uh, door jams and then move my or work my way in to the interior anyways for the detail. So pretty simple. Just do a bit of mopping up there. And it's as if, as if nothing happened. But look at the end result. I mean, this feels, oh yeah, super slick. I can feel my hand gliding on there. And now look at all this area. This came out very clean. There is no more dirt left on there, nothing. Same thing here, if I rub my hands all over here, nothing, no more dirt. Just pure perfection. And again, you can quickly mop up if there's any residual water. That's pretty much it. You can use a garden hose as well if you don't wanna use a pressure washer, no problem there. But again, look at that. Look at how perfect this is now. It's gonna be much easier to clean during the maintenance washes. And that's how you do all of your things. Now, another quick pro tip on the rubber seals. Once they're clean for your doors and windows, I highly recommend that you either apply a silicone lubricant like this, which is gonna keep them supple feeling and uh, prevents uh, the uh, doors from freezing shut when you're in the cold winter months, or a company that we all know, 303. They make this rubber seal protectant that you come and you apply. It's gonna protect and condition your rubber seals on your doors, windows, hoods, and trunks. So things like this, you see this rubber, that's why it keeps it supple over time. I use products like this on there and it keeps it pliable, supple, it won't crack, it won't fade. And yeah, it just prevents that frost and moisture from building up in the winter and your doors staying shut so they open uh, nice and cool when you use a product like this or again, any silicone spray. So you would apply some either with this product here that has its own applicator in the foam here or you spray some uh, silicone lubricant in a microfiber towel and you're going to wipe all these rubber gaskets around your door trims, door jams, door sills and all that stuff. And if you have some faded ones, it's gonna restore that black color as well. And again, keep them supple and pliable and prevent them from fading and cracking. Again, guys, I remind you, I'm gonna leave the links to all of these products and tools in the description under the video. But basically, we used an all-purpose cleaner. You can use whichever all-purpose cleaner or degreaser you want. There are many ones. I have a ton on my shelf. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I'm just sharing the tips and tricks. Uh, we had a uh, Detail Factory soft bristle brush. We used a uh, spray bottle to dilute. This is CarPro Dilute, but you can use whatever you want. Uh, if you have tar deposits or heavier grime or maybe some uh, glue uh, residue from stickers and stuff like that, you can use a tar remover. And then once you're done with the cleaning and rinsing, you can either use uh, a spray-on rinse-off paint sealant like this, super quick as you saw, you spray on, you rinse off and you're done. It gives you that hydrophobic effect. And uh, yeah, very easy to use, Gion wet coat. Uh, if not, you wanna use a microfiber drying towel, use a quick detail spray, whichever one you want. And there you go, once it's all done and dry, don't forget to protect and seal your rubber uh, around the uh, rubber seals for doors, windows, hoods, and trunks with this 303 rubber seal protectant or a silicone spray. And that is it. That is how you get your door jams or door shuts, depending on where you live and how you say it. But looking like this, I think it is quite obvious now. Look at how clean. Isn't that amazing how beautiful that looks? So you guys can do this too. If you enjoyed the video, smash the, th the, th the thumbs up button, uh, share the video with your friends and family, and don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.